after a three year search to buy a house, we were finally able to do it at the end of 2023. So the first thing you do is immediately buy a CNC machine. Then comes the challenge, how am I by myself I'm going to move the CNC machine into my workspace? I was lucky that the transport company was able to move it into the garage for me, but everything else was up to me. At this point, it was pretty much New Year's Eve, so nobody available to come help. Just before the machine arrived, I bought these V4 machine skates in order to help me in addition to my pallet jack, which I already owned. So here you see me putting them under the machine, actually much heavier than you think. Like a pallet jack, you might be moved two and a half tons, but put it, in the middle. it had a very hard time moving this up. Rewind to 1992, a pivotal year when Kitamori introduced the world to the My Center Zero. This machine wasn't just another CNC machining center. It was a revolution in precision manufacturing. Crafted with meticulous attention to detail, the My Center Zero was designed to offer unparalleled accuracy and reliability, setting a new standard in the industry. Equipped with advanced features for its time, such as 12k RPM high speed spindle, 24 meters slashman travels in a compact but robust construction. The My Center Zero allowed for the production of complex parts with exceptional precision. Its compact design revolutionized small and medium sized manufacturing businesses, enabling high quality machining within a smaller footprint than ever before. As we flip through its original brochure, we're not just reminded of the technological prowess of the early 90s, but of a legacy that has shaped modern machining practices. The innovation and engineering excellence of Kitamura machinery paved the way for advancements we often take for granted today. Despite the evolution of CNC technology, the ethos behind the My Center Zero precision, reliability, and innovation continues to influence the design and functionality of modern machining centers. And now, back to our modern day workshop, where the spirit of innovation lives on. So far, so easy. So at this point, I was still full of good hopes and I imagined it just moving it by simply pulling on it, but the reality, that wasn't the case. On the first attempt, it didn't go as planned, but I'm not giving up yet. With a little bit of ingenuity and some extra tools, let's give this another shot. Two hours later. After about like an hour of fiddling about, this is my third attempt. I put some space or some rubber spaces on top of the Vivor machine skates so the machine doesn't move up. And I cleaned off the floor of some extra debris and repositioned the CNC machine slightly so it had a more flat surface. And as you can see, with some determination and some brute force, you are able to.
end was quite challenging, but it's here now. So can I recommend the Vivor? Yes, it helped a little bit, especially the final maneuvering, but for the flat stuff, especially if you're working by yourself, didn't work out that well in my situation, but it's definitely a good option as a supplement to something like a pellet jack. So in the end, everything got into its place, did it all by myself, quite happy about it, and now going up to the next adventure.